we are in the age of digital arts. Using interactive computer programs to generate and manipulate sound and visuals has infinite potential for creative expression. From VJing in a dance club to creating interactive audiovisual artworks, installations, games, robotic sculpture, or even prototyping new software and technology. Hi, my name is Matt Wright, and I'm the technical director of Stanford's Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, or CARMA. I've been programming in Max for 25 years, and I'm really excited to bring this course to you. Programming Max, Structuring Interactive Software for Digital Arts. In this class, we're going to learn how to synthesize and process both audio and video using Max MSP, so you can create dynamic works of art. Because Max is a graphical programming language with virtual building blocks and patch cables that you can see and interact with, programming with Max is accessible and easy to get into for beginners, even those of you who have never written a line of code in your life. And yet, Max has the potential to take you to great heights by letting you patch together your ideas however you like and by allowing you to connect anything – cameras, audio, lighting system, music notation, MIDI controllers, smartphones, algorithms, motion sensing devices, the internet, microcontrollers, sequencers, machine learning, other software, you name it. There are no prerequisites to this course other than basic computer literacy. I'll start at the beginning and try to teach everything you need to know as we go along. After completing this course, you will understand the basics of Max programming and will be able to create your own unique works of art. You'll understand Max as both a programming language and as an environment where different pieces of software communicate. This course will also introduce you to some important best practice solutions to various common tasks, such as how to organize and structure your patches. Finally, I'm going to do my best to set you up with the tools you need in order to develop your programming skills even beyond this course by teaching you how to find and understand the additional knowledge you may need down the road. You're going to be able to do amazing things with Max. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.